The main findings of our study was that FIT actually can detect most colorectal cancers um, with one uh, stool sample. FIT is a fecal immunochemical test. It detects hidden blood in the stool. One of the main advantages is that it's easy to complete and you can do it at home. Um, it's done annually and no dietary restrictions are needed, no medication restrictions are needed. Have anyone in your family with colon cancer? No, I've been very lucky not to have cancer in my family at all. Great. So you're of average risk for colon cancer screening. And, and for you, there are various options uh, approved in the U.S. for screening. And we don't actually know which one is best. Right. And the main thing is that you screen. Something. You pick something and that you actually do with the test and you do it as well as you can. The fecal test is yearly right. and the colonoscopy is every 10 years if it's a normal result. So um, the fecal test is something we give you a kit. Right. It's one stool sample done on one bowel movement. You collect it yourself. It's self-contained and you can mm -hmm. wrap it up in the packaging given to you and put it in the mail mm -hmm. and send it back to Kaiser. What is the frequency of colon cancer? About 5 to 6 percent of men and women will have colon cancer in their lifetime. Right. So it's, it's the second most common cause of cancer-related death right. when you combine men and women. Got it. Um, so it can be quite aggressive. But the great thing is screening really does help reduce the number of late-stage cancers that are found. Right. And so it's worthwhile. Our review found that uh, FIT can detect most colorectal cancers. In fact, um, a FIT can detect about 79% of colorectal cancers, and this is what we call sensitivity. Um, and it also can detect about 94% of patients that do not have colorectal cancer, and that's what we call specificity. This is the most comprehensive and largest systematic review of FIT um, to date. We found 19 studies with eight different tests and all of the studies were done in patients without any symptoms of colon cancer and they were done in different countries and we were able to analyze and pool the data from all of those studies to come to some general conclusions. With just a single application the test will pick up on an existing cancer four out of five times and that's an average of all the different tests we looked at. Some tests are more sensitive than that and some are less sensitive than that. Of the patients that test negative, 94% actually are truly negative. They actually don't have colon cancer. The best test currently is the one that actually gets done, whether it's a colonoscopy or even a FIT test.